Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a Java project on hotel billing system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java IDE and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method. I am passing an in, uh, instance of uh, hotel class. This is a UI form. So to create one, you need to go over here in the project package, then click on new, then click on swing UI designer and then click on UI form. Two files will be generated. I have named it as hotel, the dot Java file for the code and the dot form file will be for the UI designing. So let's check the UI part first. This is my panel. I have named my panel as hotel panel and I have provided few margins over here. And this is my J label, which I have designed from the panel, which is provided over here. I have provided some font, the color. Okay. These are the text fields, which we, you will get from this palette over here, right hand side. And uh, these are the J labels. So, and this is a button, J button over here. You can see, you can add one J button from here. Okay, this is my uh, J table. So you need to add the J table by uh, under the J scroll pane. You need to add the table under the J scroll pane. And uh, this is it for the designing part. Let's check the uh, Java file. This is my class and these fields will be generated automatically once you design this part. Okay, so I have kept my name uh, over here. One second. Okay, I have named my uh, this text field as room number, this as name, and this as room charge. And these two, these two are J panels uh, with a border layout. Okay, this one is also border layout, this one is also border layout, and this is a checkout date. I have named it as checkout date, and this is check in date. Okay, this is it, and uh, let's see the file. Okay, I have created one object of JFrame class. I have named it as hotel and these are the two uh, JDate choosers which will be uh, saved under the panel which uh, I have created a border layout. This is the panel. Okay, check in date. So what I'll be doing under the constructor. Okay, uh, here is my constructor. I am passing these lines. These are the lines which you will require to design uh, and uh, to show this panel whenever you run the program. So whenever any instance of a hotel is created, this form appears. Okay. Uh, I have set the size and width, uh, the height and width to this and the set visible is set to true. And uh, you need to pass your panel name. This set contain pane requires the J panel as parameter. So you need to pass your hotel panel, which uh, I have named over here from here. Okay, you need to pass that over here. So this, uh, so whenever you create the object of hotel class, okay, this file will appear, uh, this form will appear. And this is my panel name, the border layout one, check in date and check out date. I'm adding the J date choosers from there. Okay, this J date chooser will be up, uh, available only when you uh, add the jar file to the project structure. So you need to go over here in the project structure. Then under modules, you will find this add button over here. You can add this jar file. I have already added this and uh, I am building connection with the uh, MySQL. So you need to add the connector to this is the file. Uh, this is the jar file for the connector and this is for J calendar. Okay. And after adding this, this uh, JDA chooser will be available. Okay. Table data method is I have created on my own and uh, it will be just uh, executing the query to select everything from uh, whichever stored in the table and then it will be printing over here okay we are storing the values over here in this table j table let's check the functionality of this add button okay so you can create one by going over here create listener but i have already created one so i'll be going over here in the go to listener this is my button functionality. So what I'm doing here is checking if the fields are null or not. Okay. If the uh, over here, if these fields are null or not. 
so if the room dot get text dot equals null or name or null anything is null then the message will be popped up please fill all fields to add record okay and else if uh, if you have selected the dates and uh, i'm calling this dot before so if these dates are occurring so the checkout date is occurring before the check in date so that's not possible so message will be popped up checkout date cannot be before check in date okay and else if everything is all right so we are executing this query inserting into hotel this is my table name and these are the values which i am storing and i am using a prepared statement to store these values so this is the syntax for it uh, okay room number you will get from the text field this also from the text field the check in date and the check out date will con uh, consist of the time as well so uh, we need to format it so here is the conversion for it okay uh, you need to build the connection uh, like this uh, pass your URL, the username and the password and, and I am executing the query with prepared statement by prepared statement and passing my SQL over here. Okay, so the out date, this is the out date string and in date string, the check in date and the check out date. I am formatting over here by calling this method get in date instance and then dot format. Uh, and I am passing over here my jdate chooser dot get date. Okay. It will format it and uh, return the value and uh, uh, you will see the value exactly the way uh, it is present over there okay not the time the year the day and the month okay only that so uh, okay so we get the values of check-in date and the checkout date now the room service and the total amount room service will be uh, provided by the user okay over here and the text field so we'll, we can extract that from here but the total we want is to add the res, uh, room service in the uh, everyday uh, stay okay so suppose uh, one day stay at this hotel is co cost uh, 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 is of thousand rupees okay so that plus the room service will be added and uh, after that it the total amount will be set okay and the total payable amount so for that what i am doing here is calculating the days number of days the person has stayed so first uh, it is calculated in milliseconds so i am calling this math dot uh, absolute i am calling this get date method and calling dot get time okay and similarly for this get date and get time i'm subtracting both of this to get the uh, result in the milliseconds then we can call this time unit dot days dot convert this requires two parameters okay the milliseconds and then we'll call time unit dot milliseconds so it will convert your millisecond into days and we'll store uh, it results in the uh, type of long so i'm okay i am saving it in this variable days of type long so we are uh, now we have the number of days suppose uh, okay whatever the day is uh, per day charge is thousand rupees for the state so days multiplied by thousand and plus we want the room charge okay room service charge i have kept my name as room charge over here so room charge dot get text it's in string so we'll parse it first into uh, integer and then add it and save it in total okay then we'll uh, use this set string or set int method from the this statement okay this uh, instance of prepare statement so we'll be calling this method sets uh, set string and set to end if the parameters are of uh, type string then we'll be calling this and if it is of type integer then we'll be calling this okay it's according to the uh, it's according to whatever you have provided into the creation of the table into the database okay so I have set my this room number as integer so I need to call integer dot parse in because I am saving the values in in string and then parsing it okay we need to parse it then second column is of name so we can directly just use name dot get text the third column is date so I am getting this date in the okay over here in the form of string I am formatting it and then passing the uh, check in date and the checkout date 
in the fourth column and the fifth column uh, has the room charge value so room charge will be calculated whatever the person has uh, added over there and the total okay we have calculated total over here it's of type integer so and i am saving the value as integer okay the column is of type integer so i can just save it in integer then i am calling this execute update then message will be popped up item added successfully then all the fields are set to null these uh, this for calendar you need to add this uh, call this method set calendar and then pass null over there and the text fields are null uh, by calling this set text and then pass this null string okay then catch the exception and uh, like call this table data method again so that it extracts the data again now let's see the functionality of table data table data method is calling this query select all from hotel what is the table name i am building the connection passing building the connection and saving this query result into result set and then calling set model method set model method uh, okay requires uh, over here uh, it requires the parameter of table model okay so uh, i have created this method on my own but instead of this you need to call db utils okay we are just calling a method from db utils class so db utils dot result set to table model and then pass your result set to it okay and uh, then catch the exception the, uh, that method works in the same way as this method uh, and then catch the exception if there is any pop the message uh, of the error and okay that is it let's run the program okay i have already stored one entry over here let's add another room number let's say 111 name date let's say is 24th okay and check out days is so four days the this person stayed for four days and the room service let's say it's 120 rupees okay item added successfully okay so for for four days each day thousand rupees so four thousand and plus the room service one twenty so the total payable amount is this okay okay this is working I hope you understand the working of the code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas.